So, if you get nothing out of this movie, at least it'll make you appreciate free Wi-Fi more. Like, a lot more. Till the end of the world, this movie follows two survivors of a plane crash in Antarctica who have to work together to keep themselves alive and find help in time. Now we have Mark Zhao who plays an arrogant millionaire who's kind of obsessive with his image and money and he also does no squat about the natural world. Luckily, the other survivor, the woman, who is played by Yang Zishan, is a natural scientist who's apparently smart enough to make some guesses to figure out what to do and find help in time before the polar night comes and practically freezes them all to death. So at the beginning, when these two start out on the plane and you know they will eventually get isolated on an ice island, you're like, this is getting romantic, but after about 20 minutes watching them battling starvation, snowstorms, drowning, and expired canned food, you're like, yeah yeah I know Mark Chow's hot, but uh, no thanks, I think I prefer Civilization, where I can, you know, charge my phone. That's to say that this movie is very realistically done, and at some point you just stop praying, like just please send someone to rescue these two poor people. It's two hours of what can happen if you're left on an island with nothing but eyes and no sunglasses. There's about 8 minutes of romance and a really cute pet penguin, so should you give this movie a try? Well, not if you're expecting this kind of eye story. Like we were. But if you're in for some real struggle, and if you like the concept of wildlife survival and a mountain between us just didn't do it for you, this movie can be a treat. Or you know, if you've been fantasizing about being left on an island with Ye Hua where no one can find you for a while, yeah, definitely give this movie a try.